Howdy everyone, this is Dark Side 2K7, aka Sonic Sky. I hope you're having a fantastic Easter Sunday. Yes, the bunnies are coming out. The Easter bunny has laid down um his Easter eggs just for, for the little kitties to find and everything. And normally I and normally I'm just relaxing a bit, but you know me, I have to check out who's gonna get cancelled. All right, let me take a look. Who got canceled? Today? Who got canceled now? Cause I know there was like, oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Well, well, this is on this. Well, this is uh, this is unprecedented. Y'all probably wondering what I'm talking about, right? Well, we got a new person who got canceled today. Well, we got a new person who's on the cancel culture list, and this person is President, I mean, former President Barack Obama. Yep, Obama got canceled. Oh my God, I didn't think I could. I never thought I'd see the day for this to happen. I didn't. Well, I mean, seriously, I didn't think this was gonna happen. And nobody did see this coming. I didn't, neither did me, but, uh, here we are in this, here we are, I guess. I guess I should read you what this whole situation is about. Let me pause this. <clears throat> now, I'm reading this from the Hill. <clears throat> Woke world comes for oppressor Obama. Activists ripped school being named after the, after Obama, who they dubbed him as deporter in chief. Yes. They came for Washington, then Jefferson, then Lincoln, then, check notes, Diane Feinstein. Holy shit. Holy shit. Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, Diane Fe Damn, they got Diane Feinstein? Real stuff. This is real shit, my nigga. Sorry, sorry. Oh, don't worry. I can say the N word. I'm black, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God, right? Even though I said that we ain't supposed to say it, but uh, for this one, it's like. Uh, Eh, it's crazy. So, it's no surprise when the woke mob would eventually come for the nation's first black president in Barack Obama, who is known, at least in the immigration activist community, as an oppressor. Why the backlash against the guy who left office with an approval rating of 58%? Because a Chicago school district wants to rename Thomas Jefferson Middle School after the 44th president who also hails from the Windy City. After it says Obama cannot even be considered for renaming of the school because he deported more undocumented immigrants than any president in history, including Donald Trump. Wait, wait, wait. So Obama deported more undocumented immigrants than Trump? Huh. All I can say is, damn. Oh, here it is. I will not be part of renaming a school after someone who did not or does not represent the undocumented community. Explained school board member Edgar Castellos of ABC 7 in Chicago. From the time Barack Obama became president until 2017 when he left. He today is still the highest ranking president of deportations in our nation, argued Drew Cachadas, who operates facilities for migrant children in the U.S. southern border. We feel that Barack Obama did a disservice to us. He denies us, and he, can't, and he didn't stop the de deportations the way he promises. If you're removing the name of Thomas Jefferson, one oppressor, the name Obama is, a, is another oppressor, and our families do not want to see that name. We heard a lot about mass deportations and kids and changes during the Trump presidency. But, but according to the Washington Post, Obama uh, deported 1.18 million people in his first three years in office, while Trump only deported just 800,000. 800,000, or 32% fewer. The pandemic made the fourth year comparison mute. 
The fact that Obama departed more, far more than Trump was rarely reported. Because why get in the way of the Trump is a racist narrative that, that led to so many clicks and ratings during his tenure? Regardless, Obama forces enforces the laws of this country while not adopting an open borders policy makes him an oppressor to some on the left. Perhaps these Chicago activists could visit the current crisis at the border sometime, where one facility in Donna, Texas, was described as an overcrowded purgatory by CBS News, in holding 17 times more people than what the facility was built to hold. The Associated Press also have counted in the Biden administration's main border detention facility for migrant children more than 4,000 people, including children's and family, who were crammed into a space intended for just 250 people during the pandemic, no less. In other words, given the dangerous conditions of these facilities, Obama may have done many undocumented migrants a favor by returning them home. In San Francisco earlier this year, the school board, instead of focusing on getting its school ready to open, used its time to rename schools in the Bay Area. Among the scores, scores who need to be eliminated from public discord due to their races were Abraham Lincoln, who only freed the slaves, and George Washington, the nation's first president, who freed us from the British. Include, also included in the purge of Senator Di Dianne Feinstein, Democrat California for reasons unknown or clear. Thankfully, in the deep blue California, parents said they they had had enough and pushed back to the point where the school board agreed to sell the idea, arbitrary temporary. The parents are now suing the boards to ensure the decision stays permanent. In Wisconsin last year, the Statue of Fame abolitionist Hans Christian Head was toppled and thrown into a lake in the capital city of Madison. Head died fighting for the Confederate Army. Fast forward to President Biden, who may get a school named after him in Chicago after declaring the deportations would be paused during his first 100 days in office. A judge blocked this move one month later. Between candidate Biden urging Central America to immediately surge the border and announcing that the world to the world that the portion would be on hold for three months after his inauguration, one could easily point to these words and actions as having led to the disaster we have have at the border now and for the unforeseeable future. Yes, the Joseph R. Biden Middle School does not have a certain ring to it. Because in woke world to honor President Bar to honor Barack Obama, who refused to allow a crisis to this disturbing and deadly at the border cannot stand in the name of humanity or something. So, yeah. So, yeah. Hey, hey. I mean, damn. Really damn. So, all this talk about how Trump was, you know, deporting. He, de he deported... Only in his tenure, in his presidency tenure, he deported only 800,000 uh, undocum undocumented uh, migrants. While Obama, he... D d wow. I guess that destroys everything about the whole, oh, Trump's the racist narrative. Oh, wait, it did... Oh, wait, they didn't want to bring that up because, you know, that they didn't want to bring that little tidbit up um, because that'll destroy the Trump... Trump is racist narrative. That's no surprise. But now that he's out, now everybody's going after everyone. Everyone because it's free. It's free real estate, baby. It's free real estate. And no surprise that it will be be uh, the nation's first black president of the United States. Man, who could have seen this coming? Well, I guess I guess the old adage said it best. The chickens have come home to roost, so to speak. And, uh, yeah, I can say it's fuck. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm not surprised, man. Not surprised. See, cancel culture is, cancel culture is, is, is cancer. But the fact that I'm seeing, but the fact that now they're going after, um, you know what? I'm not even surprised. I'm not really fucking surprised on that one because let's be real. I bet you, I bet you, the re I bet you it's going to be the same, the ones who always vote, who always support this stuff, it's the only one that's going to bite them back. Like I said, you, you create a, if you're going to create a monster, you better make damn sure you know how to kill it. Because if you don't, 
It'll get for you. So, yeah, that's my two cents on the whole situation. If you want to take a look at the article, I can put the article up there, um, put it up there in, in the description so you can take a look at it. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, um, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, uh, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your significant other, and this and the third. Until next time, this is Shadow 2 k 7 aka Sun of Sky, Saints are signing off. I'll catch you later, and I hope you're having a fantastic Easter, you know, so catch you later. Peace. Damn, Obama. Seriously, my dude? You deported eight, 1.18 million uh, migrants out? You deported that many people out? Wow. I have to ask, how much how much cover is, is these people going to give give him, man? <sighs> man. And yet, for some reason, and yet Trump, and yet people like say, oh, well, Trump's the racist. Yeah, he's a racist, all right, but yet he deported only 800,000. 800, if that ain't hypocrisy, I don't know what the fuck is, man.